Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. I'm in the shed with Matt Denton, and you may remember I made some videos about the Mantis walking machine, which is a giant hydraulic hexapod you can ride in, so check those videos out in my channel. You may remember at the end of the last video we discussed the hydraulic gripper that was going to go on the front so it can grab hold of things, and Matt's been busy building that gripper, and we're in the shed having a look at it, and it's just here and we're going to see what it's capable of. So you can check out Matt's channel, the link's in the description to see this actually being made. But in summary, this is laser cut steel. Yep, laser cut steel and welded, castellated welded where it's been ground back here. Um, yeah, all laser cut and welded. And we've got bolts here so you can take the pincers off yep. and put on some other type of manipulator or yep. a different uh, gripper. So I've called these the gripper stubs and these are gripper tips so you can take these off and put in whatever you like on them, exactly that. Uh, this is a little single phase pump here. Um, and it's an, e uh, an eBay purchase, probably the best bargain I ever got on eBay. Uh, and basically, this is a half a kilowatt pump, and um, the power rating is based on flow and pressure. Uh, and with the current um, gear pump that's in here, which I think generates about 4.2 litres a minute, uh, it can go up to about 70 bar, and that's when you hit your half a kilowatt maximum. Um, now, we have overcranked it a little bit to about 85 bar and I've put this external pressure release valve on here which makes the whole thing a lot quieter. Um, but what that means is at, at about 75, 80 bar, the grippers are getting about 160 kilograms of crush in the middle point over here and about, uh, gosh, I think it's about 60 kilograms at the tip. But that's not running on the Mantis yet. The Mantis runs at 165, 170 bar. So by that point it'll be more than double all that crush power. So Matt's got his safety glasses on, ready for some testing. Are you going to show us what we can do with this right now? Which isn't much. All right, we'll because, see what we can do. Well, you know, it's it'll get better. It will get better when it's on the mantis. Yeah. Then we can pick up an egg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not about crushing things, it's about control. Right? All right, it's precision engineering. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> so one empty 3D printer filament spool. Let's see if we can actually crush it. Okay. Yeah, well, kind of. I do the safety glasses. You need safety glasses. Thank you. We'll be able to see anything through them, but... <laughs> Don't try this at home. The middle's still in that. Yeah, we're not going to touch that. Well, if you put it in that way, then. Like that? Yeah. I'm all broke because it came out my hand. Right, a uh, wine bottle in a bag so it doesn't shatter. Not that big. Wine bottle strong! Wow. Well. So, what do you reckon the force is in the middle? About 160 kilos. Okay, so with the. Right, so even with the. coming in fast. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? So, that? you reckon 10 times more in the Mantis, or what's the. Uh... No, it'd be about. Three or four times. Three or four times, so we'll have to do that one again. Exactly. Alright. Alright, and for the grand finale. So this is made from. Unobtainium. Or vibranium. Um, or something. Unobtainium. So I don't think I don't think it will crush it. I think you're right. Very light for unobtainium. How do you know? Good point. Look at that! It's built from unobtainium. Try it, try it lower down. I'm not a genius! Oh, there you go! Oh no! <laughs> you got turbo popping out Ha <laughs> ha 
Basil Gabby. I still wear that one. <laughs> so this is the piece that actually attaches the gripper to the front of the Mantis. Exactly, yep. These, this swinging arm at the front here goes up and down. There's another hydraulic cylinder missing which can be attached to the Mantis. And then this whole unit is just kind of drops onto this front plate and is locked in with some pins down here. And this is the tilt mechanism and the rotate mechanism for the gripper. So the gripper literally bolts to that it's face those there. Holes. Yep, exactly that. All right, so here it is all positioned in one piece. This gets bolted on here. So this is gonna be quite a big gripper on the front of a really big robot. All right, that's all for this video. Don't forget to check out the Mantis Walking Machine Facebook page facebook.com forward slash mantis robot and matt's youtube channel for more building videos and previous videos and hopefully have another video coming up in my channel about uh, this being attached to the robot and crushing that egg yep about six months all right i think all right that's all for now